It's simple time and this is Chef Pato and today gagawa tayo ng isang dish na panghandaan our own version of the Christmas meatloaf kaya let's start cooking! Simple, simple Luto na ka This recipe is part of the Simple Cookbook series where we try to make cooking as simple as ABC kaya today gagawa tayo ng ating Meatloaf na tinatawag nating hardinera, no? So, our own version using giniling from fresh options, of course. So, we're using 1 kilo of ground pork with at least 20% pork fat, no? So, we want the pork fat there para maging juicy siya, no? And, of course, we will season it with salt. 1 tablespoon of salt. 4 tablespoons of sugar. 1 half cup of minced onions. 1 teaspoon of ground white pepper. I like using white pepper here kasi alam mo mas peppery yung flavor ng white pepper. And also, wala siyang black spots in my meatloaf. So very pretty siya. Misty sang misty sa yung aking meatloaf. I will also combine my other ingredients. So I have here 1 cup of breadcrumbs and 2 eggs and cream. So we're using cream here half a cup of cream you can also use fresh milk or evaporated milk and also i will add a cup of grated cheese i just combine that so what i want here is for the breadcrumbs to absorb all the moisture from the eggs and the cream it has a pasty consistency i just leave that there and i will continue mixing my ground pork so it's very important when you're using ground pork that it's properly chilled once we've combined that very well and naging sticky siya, we will add our breadcrumbs mixture yeah. very easy and banana ketchup for color i will add the banana ketchup as well here give it a nice color hindi masyadong mapula medyo magiging pinkish yung ating meat when it's cooked so it will look like it's been cured yeah very nice yeah and we add all the other ingredients ito sigurado tayong sobrang malasa nito yeah we add our carrots as well red bell peppers remove the seeds don't forget to remove the seeds red bell peppers so we can add one cup of pickle relish or you can also use crushed pineapple so option nyo yan kung ano yung gusto mo Ano yung gagamitin natin today? Sige, ang gagamitin ko na lang today ay pineapples. Yan. So, I'm using crushed pineapples. So, that's an alternative. We will also add our raisins and green peas. Here, this is a very basic mixture. Diba? Na, nagawa na natin yung meat mixture. If you want to add anything dyan, yung ma, you can add herbs, no? If you want to have like Fine. So, yung traditional talaga na hardinera, hindi lang siya purong giniling. May chunks of meat. So, nagluluto sila ng karne na parang minudo. And nilahalo nila dito sa mixture. Ideally, you let it rest para all the flavors will come together kasi very important. And of course, we're ready to shape our hardineras. We will use laneras. No? And what we will do now is we'll prepare our toppings. Yung toppings natin, hindi siya toppings at dahil pang ilalim siya, siya yung bed. But when we serve it, babalik ta rin natin siya. Magiging topping na siya. Okay, so we have here sliced pineapples. Yan. So we'll just half it. Yan. Cut it in the middle. So meron tayong carrot florets. Eto. Meron tayong bell peppers. Julienne. Cut into strips. And hard-boiled egg. So, ito lang yung gagawin natin. Look at that. We arrange our pineapples. Whatever design you want. Wala namang standard design. Of course, it's up to you. And we can put red bell peppers. We can add green bell peppers. So, it's really up to you how creative you want to be. And hard-boiled eggs, of course. So, half lang natin siya. Face down. And I have a little bit more grated cheese. So this is optional. But what I will do, I will just you know, add a little bit of grated cheese into the empty spot so that when it cooks, my melted cheese, my counting melted cheese tayo around the top. And how do we do it? 
we will divide our meat. It's very important that you divide your meat. Parang estimate mo lang. You can weigh it. Okay. Portion. One portion. And you press down. No? Very important that you press it down. So all of our recipes here in the book are, you know, just really basic, very simple recipes. Then you can just play around with them. No? Kung paano mo siya gusto i-embellish. Make it more fancy. Make it even more special. Kanya-kanya na siyang discard eh. Yeah, very nice. No? And we just cover it with foil. Yeah. Press it down. Yeah, and wrap it. Meron ako instant steamer na kumukulo na yung tubig niya. And what we do is we just arrange our lanieras over the hot water, of course. On the rack, para mag-steam, patong-patong ko na lang siya. Ayan. You can do it in two layers. But the very important thing here is that don't rush the hardinera. Sa sobrang taas yung steaming temperature mo. Dapat naka-medium heat ka lang para hinay-hinay yung pagluto niya. Or else, mapapansin mo pag ninuto mo siya, kalahati na lang yung natitira mo na hardinera. Puro tubig na lang around. No? All the juices have oozed out. So, Gentle cooking lang siya. Let's cook this for around 30 to 40 minutes. And our hardinera is cooked. Yan. Lalabas ko lang. Yan. And sisilipin natin. You will know it's cooked kasi it's already firm on top. And we remove the... I allowed it to rest for a while. And look at that. Tinan mo, because very gentle yung cooking natin, hindi siya masyadong nag-shrink. Look at that. Because kung sobrang lakas ng apoy mo, puro tubig na yung nasa gilid niya, and yung ating hardinera, liliit. So that's the key. So it's best to let it cool before serving. So ito siya, just to show you. And ito siya, medyo mainit pa siya. So you let it cool before you remove it from the can. Pero ito, gagawin ko na siya, just to show you. Very nice. And tingnan mo yung cheese nag-melt na siya on top. And we have a hardinera. Don't slice it unless it's already cooled or very well rested. Yan. And here it is. Our version of hardinera. Guys, tandaan nyo. Kahit sino kaya magluto. Basta simple. Mga simple, remember, loving is sharing. Kaya share this video and like nyo na rin. Kain mo na ako. Bye!